This is my first lecture on blood cells and blood plasma proteins. And the learning objectives are list the major blood cell types and their functions, describe how blood plasma differs from serum, identify major blood proteins with electrophoretic peak, list functions of plasma proteins and organ of synthesis, tell why alpha-1 antitrypsin or A1AT deficiency results in emphysema. This is the, a diagram showing the blood cells. And the blood cells are all start out made by the bone marrow. In the bone marrow there is a hematopoietic stem cell and this stem cell differentiates into many other types of cell types. Among them are the lymphoid progenitors and the lymphoid progenitors give rise to adaptive those cells that provide adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity is provided by the lymphocytes, the B cells that make antibodies and they become plasma cells and they make IgGs or immunoglobulin antibodies. Then we have the T cells, which are the effector cells of the immune system, and we'll, you'll talk more about those when you get into immunology. And the natural killer cells, which kill uh, 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 cells such as cancer cells. Then we have myeloid progenitors that provide the innate immunity. The innate immunity, these cells, the neutrophil or polymorphonuclear leukocyte kills bacteria. Basophils, which are blood cells, very much like mast cells in some ways, kill parasites and they also have IgE on their surface. Then eosinophils also kill parasites. So we, these are innate immunity and provide protection from bacteria parasite, and parasites. Then we also have monocytes. Monocytes then differentiate into dendritic cells and macrophage, which are antigen presenting, uh, and they present antigens to the T cells. And then we also have mast cells. Mast cell is a tissue cell. It's found in the tissue, and it, it has IgE on its surface, whereas the basophil is in the blood. And it, the mast cell can release a lot of histamine, and therefore you can go into anaphylactic shock if you have an allergy, have a lot of IgE that is a, that it binds to, say, peanut allergens, and then you eat peanuts, then your mast cells release all of that, and the histamine will dilate your blood vessels, and you drop your blood pressure drops so low you die. So it's the only cell that could kill us. The, the other, the, uh, the erythroid and megakaryocyte progenitors give rise to the megakaryocyte, which then breaks up into platelets, which are also called thrombocytes because these are very important in blood clotting. Then we also have the erythroblast that goes to the retic reticulocyte, and finally to the erythrocyte that does not have a nucleus or mitochondria, and, and, but is loaded with hemoglobin and transfers oxygen from our lungs to our tissues, and this cell then lives for 120 days. Now, blood plasma is the liquid from centrifuge blood. So if you take whole blood and centrifuge it, you'll get this straw-colored liquid called plasma and then pack cells. And you can do this if you keep it from clotting by adding uh, chelating agents that chelate calcium such as EDTA with a lavender top tube or citrate with a blue top tube or heparin which activates antithrombin 3 and we'll talk more about that later but it's another anticoagulant and when this occurs you'll wind up with plasma you'll wind up with white blood cells and platelets at this little place called the buffy coat here and then red blood cells which transport the oxygen if you allow blood to clot you wind up with serum and then the liquid that's squeezed out of the clot is called serum and that is from coagulated blood it not from if it, plasma comes from blood that has not clotted serum comes from blood that has clotted if you do electrophoresis of blood plasma proteins by putting a sample right here and then putting an electric charge across here, positive and negative, most of the blood proteins are negatively charged so they migrate to the positive 
anode down here, positive electrode, and uh, then they are uh, then they are stained for pro you can stain them for protein and then scan them to get this the scanned uh, densitometry up here. Albumin is the big one here, and so this is the albumin peak. There are sometimes the little things in front we call prealbumin. Then these peaks are called alpha one because relative to albumin, and then alpha two because it's the second peak next to albumin, and then beta peak uh, is follows that, and then gamma peak. And it, it, these were named years ago based on when they were discovered to some extent. The gamma peak is where all the immunoglobulins are, and those are IgG, gamma, gamma globulin, IgA, and IgM are found in, the, in this region down here. And so we have these globulins down in those regions. Albumin comes from the word Latin word for albus or white, and it accounts for 50% of the blood plasma uh, protein, and it is responsible for osmotic pressure. Albumin is made by the liver, and uh, there are uh, al and albuminemia means you have no albumin in your blood, and that's extremely rare. Hypoalbuminemia albuminemia is a result from hepatic damage. Remember, it's made by the liver. So if you have uh, liver cirrhosis, for example, you have lower amounts of albumin in your blood, reduced synthesis. Or you can have a, a syndrome such as uh, a kidney syndrome in which you're, losing, urine, uh, you're losing albumin into the urine. Albumin binds and transports bilirubin. Bilirubin is the, is the breakdown product of heme when your red blood cells die, and it's a very yellow, insoluble compound, and if it has to bind to albumin, we'll talk more about that later. And it, albumin also has a lot of aspartic acid, glutamic acid, so it can bind metal ions in the blood. Now, in the alpha-1 region, we have alpha-1 antitrypsin, which is a serpent. It's a serine proteinase inhibitor. There are multiple serine proteinase inhibitors, and alpha-1 proteinase inhibitor, or alpha-1 antitrypsin, is the first one. And this one inhibits elastase, and we'll talk a little bit more about it in a minute. In the alpha-2 region, we have uh, ceruloplasmin, which is a copper transporter. We have Z GC globulin, which is a vitamin D carrier. We have haptoglobin, which which binds hemoglobin. When the red blood cell dies, the hemoglobin is then bound to haptoglobin so it doesn't escape and get out of the out of the blood into the urine. We have prothrombin, which is a zymogen of thrombin. And thrombin is very important in blood clotting. We'll talk more about that later. And then we have antithrombin 3, which is another serpent, just very much like alpha-1 antitrypsin, but this one requires heparin for its activation, and it inhibits thrombin. Now, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency was discovered by C.B. Laurel and S. Erickson in Malmo, Sweden back in 1963, and uh, that, and it was, they observed that there was a missing alpha-1 peak in a number of people that developed uh, pulmonary emphysema. And so uh, this protein became of high interest because it was linked to this disease of, of pulmonary emphysema for, uh, for very young people in their 30s and 40s if they smoke and 50s if they didn't smoke. Most of cigarette, most of emphysema is caused by cigarette smoking in some minor part by, by environmental toxins. Neutrophils and macrophages produce elastases, and smoke produces oxidants. So we get these oxidants, and uh, these uh, uh, you can get genetic variations, amount of antioxidant you, pro you produce, and the, and the neutrophils also make oxidants, and they make elastases. And those elastases can hit, attack the uh, elastin of the lung. Normally, alpha-1 antitrypsin inhibits these elastases and keeps them from working, protects the lung, which is very rich in, the, in elastin, and, uh, but under oxidative stress, you can uh, damage the alpha-1 PI and it will no longer work well. So uh, just kind of know the basic concepts. You don't need to memorize this. And so inflammation, you get oxidative stress, creates inflammation and cell death and mucus hypersecretion in here too. So.
Alpha-1 antitrypsin has a methionine in its inhibitory site, and that can be oxidized to methionine sulfoxide, and when that happens, then it no longer uh, works as an inhibitor. Cigarette smoke and other things can cause this to uh, this oxygen put this oxygen on here to make this weird uh, substitution of this amino acid. Now normally uh, alpha-1 antitrypsin binds to elastase. It has this methionine in it and this elastase comes along and wants to cleave at this methionine and it does cleave it. And when it does cleaves it, it gets trapped into this complex with the alpha-1 antitrypsin and then the in elastase gets inhibited. And we're going to see a little video of that here. Watch the elastase come come down and uh, then it binds to the methionine inhibitory site and on the alpha-1 antitrypsin and then it gets trapped and it's inhibited. So that's the end of that. Now in the beta region we have hemopexin that binds heme one to one. Also heme needs to be rebound. It has iron in it. We don't want to lose iron. Transferrin then binds uh, Fe uh, ferric iron and take and carries it and transports it to new cells to make new hemoglobin. Uh, there are three iron conservation proteins, haptoglobin, hemopexin, and transferrin. The uh, blood plasma proteins that bind uh, heat for iron conservation are haptoglobin, hemopexin, and transferrin. And uh, then in the cellular storage, we have ferritin, which is an intracellular protein that stores iron. You don't see very much of this in the blood, so it's very low nanogram levels in the blood. And when it's not there, it's a diagnostic of anemia. Low ferritin equals anemia. Now, ferritin can bind 24 irons, uh, has 24 subunits, I'm sorry, and binds up to 4,500 Fe3s plus uh, for each. So iron conservation is a really important thing. Fee, in the feed region, we have the protein fibrinogen, and fibrinogen is the precursor for fibrin, which makes uh, pol polymers of blood clots, very important for blood clots. And this is the enzyme that converts fibrinogen into fibrin is thrombin, and it makes two little cleavages on this really big molecule to make this thing clot, and we'll talk more about that later. Don't smoke and be careful what you drink. Thank you.